Hi everyone, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Welcome to Dumb Old Dad channel. Uh, if you like the content that I have, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. But today, of course, as soon as I start doing a video, my dog wants to play. Any other time, no, she's doing her own thing. But right now, I turn on the camera, guess what happens? Yeah, now it comes in here. All right, now I got it. Okay, so I'm bringing you this video from the um, from my closet, and of course my shoes. So uh, a couple of things that I do in my shoe closet here is one of the things that I do is I leave a can of odor eaters right here on my shelf. So when I start to smell like my shoes starting to stink, and I just I just spray them real quick. And then I put them back in my shelf. So they don't stink up my closet. So put one of these in your uh, in your closet. Just set it right there, out of the way. And then I've got uh, church shoes and I've got uh, you know slippers. I've got uh, tennis shoes for actually tennis. And actually I've got I've got some work shoes that are down here on the bottom. And these are the shoes I'm wearing today, and I also got some slippers that I use as well. <coughs> Boy, don't breathe in. <coughs> don't breathe in the odor eater stuff. I want to talk to you about a very valuable piece of what you have in your closet for your shoes. And that is, does anybody know what this is? Can you even see what it is? It's a shoehorn. So this little shoehorn, I don't, it's for, I remember seeing my dad using a shoehorn and I always thought, what is that? And why does he use that? It seems so dumb. But now that I'm a dumb old dad, I know why it's to help put your shoes on. Now, dumb old dads, our feet don't change sizes anymore. We have shoes from years and years ago. I mean, I, these are my other previous work shoes and these were the previous work shoes before that. I mean, the size of my shoe just does not change anymore. So I, I can just wear the same pair of shoes every single day and not even care. Of course, little kids, they change shoes about, what, every six months or so because their feet sizes are changing. So one of the problems with putting on your shoes, especially when you're a dumb old dad, and let's see if I can mimic this. I'm gonna try and get it on the floor so you can see it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be putting on my church shoe. Okay, so there's the problem. See how you put on your shoe and the back side of your shoe just does not slide up your heel. So then you end up sticking your finger down here and then trying to pull it up and it is a pain every single time. Not only that, see how you kind of have to wiggle your foot back and forth. Now there's my heel, it's fine. But if you'll notice, the back side of your heel gets all rubbed raw and then the back side of your um, shoe becomes all worn down. Well, you see mine's really not that worn down. So the reason it's not worn down is, here we go, I'm gonna show you. You put your toe in like that. Then you take your shoehorn and you put it right here behind your heel. Just like that. And look at this. It slides in. Look, it didn't buckle. The back of my heel did not buckle at all. It slid right in and it's done. So let's try another one here. Here we go. Undo your shoelace just like Mr. Rogers. Actually, I had somebody comment that they wanted me to do a Mr. Rogers thing, and I think I will. There you go, put your shoehorn in, and then, there you go. It slides right in, pull the shoehorn out, and you're done. There you go, shoehorn, that's what it does. You put it in the back of your shoe, you slide your foot in, and then it slides your heel in without bending this down like that. So that you can't, then you have to pull up that stupid flap right there. So you put the shoehorn in just like that. So 
I started using a shoehorn. I started being just like my dumb old dad. I was just being like him and I just, I love it. It's valuable. I know these are only like two bucks. So dumb old dads, if you're asking for stuff for Christmas and your little kids need to buy you something that's really cheap, ask him for a shoehorn. Then just put it here in your closet. And so whenever you need to put on your shoes or just put it down here, wherever, whenever you put on your shoes, boom, you just grab your shoehorn, stick it in, boom, your shoe is in, your foot is in your shoe. Now, here comes the cool stuff. So I told my dad that I'm starting to use a dumb shoehorn and that I look like an old man now. And so he decided to give me a gift and this is what he gave me. <laughs> this huge long shoehorn, look how big. <laughs> There's the comparison to a normal one versus that. So I'm guessing that this shoehorn is for old grandpas because they can't sit down very well on the ground anymore. They can't put their feet in the thing anymore. So let's see how this will work. Okay, so I am going to show you how this works. This one's made by Shockey. I will leave a link in the description to Amazon. They're super cheap, so if you're a mom looking for a gift for your dad, maybe this big, long, super long uh, shoehorn would be the gift. Well, at least your kids, they could buy it because it's really cheap. So let me show you how it works. Here we go, can you see my shoes? There we go, there's my shoes. I'm just standing here. Maybe I could use it as a cane or something. All right, dumb dog, we'll leave out of here. All right, put your foot in first, then put your shoehorn in right there in the back. Oh, slides in nice, look at that. I didn't even have to bend over. So put your toe in first. Can you see that? Let me scoop back, there we go. Put your toe in first, then the shoehorn behind it, and slide your foot in. Look at that, shoes are on. I didn't even have to bend over. That's awesome. Didn't even have to bend over for them. So these are just uh, church shoes. Let's try it with my uh, shoes that I'm going to be wearing today. Here are my shoes. They're uh, blue Nikes. They did not sponsor this, by the way. Put your toe in. Oh, can you see that? Put your toe in first. Then put your your uh, shoehorn, slide your foot in. Look at that. Look at that. My heel didn't even double over on me. Try it again. Tennis shoes are sometimes really hard. There you go. I'm standing up straight and there goes my shoe. I am in and ready to go. Isn't that great? Ha! There you have it. Shocky shoehorn. That's what it looks like. It's super long or you can go buy a little one like this. Oh, there you go. I'll leave it over here. There you can see it much better. So I will leave a link in the description and you can see what these will do and buy them for your dumb old dad in your life or buy it for your grandpa. He would love it or laugh to death. I don't know. I laughed when I first saw it. That's the longest shoe or I've ever seen in my life. So anyway, that is it for me. Thanks for watching my video and we will see you next time on Dumb Old Dad. Please subscribe, leave a comment, or hit the like button. That would be awesome. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.